Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Tuesday began with just under 2.1 million mail ballots still outstanding. Traffic at this drop-off site was steady, where poll workers helped identify ballots missing information before it was too late. Most of them have come in completely ready to put in the box. Statewide, more than 21,000 mail ballots have already been flagged for missing or mismatched signatures. Advocates caution that time has run out to trust the post office with your ballot. At this point, we are suggesting that you still go and drop off your ballot. We no longer encourage the mailing in of your ballot. And the groups also say blacks and Hispanics are more likely to have signature issues. We're actually after the August 18th primary identified that 35,000 votes were rejected. And projections um, of the current election um, are expected to be much higher. More than 400,000 votes were cast Monday, bringing the total to 6.5 million, a turnout so far of 44.5%. The turnout record here in Florida is 83%. It was set in 1992. The advocates also pointed to Jacksonville, where the Duval canvassing board is refusing to let television cameras view their decisions as they interpret voters' intentions. There has been a lack of transparency when it comes to the canvassing board, and we are highly alarmed. You can track your mail ballot online at your local supervisor's website, and if there is a problem, you can file a cure affidavit to fix it. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.